Maureen Diane Lipman, CBE is a British film, theatre and television actress, columnist and comedian. Early life, Lipman was born in Hull in the East Riding of Yorkshire, England, the daughter of Maurice Julius Lipman and Zelma Perlman. Her father was a tailor. He used to have a shop between the Ferrans Art Gallery and Monument Bridge. She attended Newland School for Girls in Hull, and became interested in performing as a youth. Lipman performed in school shows, attended an early Beatles concert, and watched Elizabeth Taylor's Butterfield 8 15 times. Her first performances at home included impersonations of Alma Kogan a Euro a nice Jewish girl, she was big in our house and she was encouraged into an acting career by her mother, who used to take her to the pantomime and push her onto the stage. Lipman trained at the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art. Career Lipman worked extensively in the theatre following her dark copyright but in a stage production of The Knack at the Palace Theatre, Watford. In order to get the post she pretended that a documentary producer wanted to follow her finding her first job a Euro this was a lie but it seemed to work. She was a member of Laurence Olivier's National Theatre Company at the Old Vic from 1971 a Euro 73 and of the Royal Shakespeare Company for its 1973 Stratford season. She made an early film appearance in Up the Junction. After early appearances in the sitcoms The Lovers, and Doctor at Large, and a role in The Evacuees, Lipman first gained prominence on television in the 1979 situation comedy Agony, in which she played an agony aunt with a troubled private life. She played the lead role in the television series All at No 20 and took on a range of diverse characters when starring in the series About Face. She is well known for playing Joyce Grenfell in the biographical show Re, Joyce, which she co-wrote with James Ruse Evans, and another memorable character Beatrice Bellman, a Jewish grandmother in a series of television commercials for British Telecom. She has continued to work in the theatre for over 30 years, playing, amongst other roles, Aunt Ello in the National Theatre's Oklahoma, with Hugh Jackman. In 2006 Lipman played Maggie White in the children's television show The Fugitives. In 2002, she played snooty landlady Lillian Spencer in Coronation Street, and the titular character's mother in Roman Polanski's award-winning film The Pianist. More recently, she has narrated two television series on the subject of design, one for UK TV about Art Deco and one about 20th century design for ITV Sky Travel. In 2003 she appeared in Jonathan Creek in the episode The Taylor's Dummy. She also wrote a monthly column for Good Housekeeping magazine for over ten years, which spawned several biographical books, including, How Was It For You? Something to Fall Back On, Thank You For Having Me, You Can Read Me Like A Book, and Lip Reading. More recently, Lipman penned a weekly column in The Guardian in the newspaper's G2 section. She performed as a villain in the 2006 series of Doctor Who in the episode entitled The Idiot's Lantern is the Wire. From November 2005 to April 2006 she played Florence Foster Jenkins in the Olivier Award-nominated show Glorious at the Duchess Theatre in London's West End. After her playwright husband's death in May 2004 she completed his autobiography by Jack Rosenthal, and played herself in her daughter's four-part adaptation of the book. Jack Rosenthal's last act on BBC Radio 4 in July 2006. She has created several volumes of autobiography from her good housekeeping columns and recently published The Gibbons and Declined But the Horse is Stable, a book of animal poems which is illustrated by established cartoonists including Posey Simmons and Gerald Scarfe, to raise money for Myeloma UK, to combat the cancer to which she lost her husband. She has also appeared a few times on Just a Minute. The news quiz, that reminds me, this week and have I got news for you. In 2007, Lipman appeared as a celebrity contestant on Comic Relief Does the Apprentice to raise money for Comic Relief. The show saw her helping to run a funfair. Later in 2007, she made a guest appearance in Casualty. This was followed by an appearance in a December 2011 episode of the Casualty spin-off Holby City, playing a different character. In May 2008 she appeared in the BBC documentary series Comedy Map of Britain. She currently writes for The Oldie. On Sunday 11 January 2009 BBC4 was devoted to a Maureen Lipman night. 
On February 5, 2009, she appeared in the third series of Teen Drama Skins, in the episode entitled Thomas as Pandora Moon's Aunt Elizabeth. She appeared twice on The Paul O'Grady Show during its run, once alongside Julie Walters to promote her most recent book Past It Notes, the other to speak about her appearance as the wheelchair-bound Madame Armfelt in the Sunday musical A Little Night Music, showing at the Menia Chocolate Factory. In both of these appearances, she also spoke briefly about her role as Irene Spencer in the ITV3 comedy Ladies of Letters, in which she leads alongside Anne Reed. The show's first series started in 2009, and returned for a second series in 2010, shown divided into two five-week stints. Lippmann's appearance as Madame Armfelt was criticized by Telegraph critic Charles Spencer, at the same time that he criticized Judy Dench's roles in Madame de Sade alongside Deborah Findlay and Jenny Galloway, and as M in the James Bond films. Madame Armfelt is a woman who has supposedly slept her way through the European royal families, a role which Spencer described Lippmann to be too angular to play. His analysis of Lippmann was a wildly unlikely grand horizontale. Both Lippmann and Dench were annoyed by these reviews. And Lippmann was quoted in a gossip column to want to pour a glass of wine over Spencer's head. From October 2010 to February 2011 Lippmann starred in a production of J.B. Priestley's When We Are Married at the Garrick Theatre. In 2012 she directed and appeared in a production of Barefoot in the Park on tour and starred in Old Money at the Hampstead Theatre. In 2013 she starred in Daytona at the Park Theatre followed by a tour, and in 2014 a season at the Theatre Royal Hay Market. In 2015 she starred with James Dreyfus and Mary Chase's play Harvey at Birmingham Rep, on tour and at the Theatre Royal Hay Market. Personal Life and Politics, Lippmann is Jewish. She was married to dramatist Jack Rosenthal from 1974 until his death in 2004, and has had a number of roles in his works. She has two children, writers Amy and Adam Rosenthal. Lippmann was a Labour Party supporter, but in October 2014 declared that she will no longer be voting Labour due to the party's support for recognition of Palestine. She is on the editorial advisory board of Jewish Renaissance magazine. Lippmann supports the work of the Burma Campaign UK, Europe's largest NGO regarding Burma. Lippmann supports the process of democratization in the country. Lippmann also supports the work of Prospect Burma, a non-political charity that offers Burmese students the opportunity to study at universities outside of Burma. Lippmann spoke on behalf of Prospect Burma in the BBC Radio 4 charity appeal, which was broadcast on September 6, 2009. Lippmann supported Israel during the 2006 Israel-Hezbollah conflict. On July 13, 2006, in a debate on the BBC's This Week, she argued that human life is not cheap to the Israelis, and human life on the other side is quite cheap actually, because they strap bombs to people and send them to blow themselves up. These comments were condemned by Muslim political columnist Yasmin Alib High Brown who said brutally straight, she sees no equivalence between the lives of the two tribes, and journalist John Pilger, who in the New Statesman criticized the BBC for allowing Lipman a euro whom he described as a Jew and promoter of selective good causes a euro to present her allegedly insensitive remarks without, in his view, any serious challenge. Lippmann responded to Alib High Brown's accusation of racism by arguing that the columnist had deliberately misrepresented Lippmann's comments as generalizations about Muslims rather than specific comments about terrorists. In the Jewish Chronicle, Lippmann argued the media reporting of the conflict was heavily distorted, in a January 2015 interview on LBC Radio Lippmann said she was considering immigrating to the United States or to Israel in response to increased anti-Semitism in the UK. In May 2015, Maureen Lippmann joined pro-Israel groups including Zionist Federation in a protest outside the London premiere of a Palestinian play, The Siege, at Battersea Arts Centre. Awards and nominations she was awarded the Laurence Olivier Theatre Award for Best Comedy Performance in 1985 for See How They Run. She was awarded an honorary doctorate from the University of Hull in 1994. Her show, Live and Kidding, performed at the Duchess Theatre, was nominated for a 1998 Laurence Olivier Theatre Award for Best Entertainment of the 1997 season. 
she was made a CBE in 1999. In 2003 she was nominated as Best Supporting Actress for The Pianist, at the Polish Film Awards. Television, Doctor at Large Season 1, Episode 11, Saturday Matinee, Thriller A Euro Violet Under Fear, The Evacuees, The Sweeney A Euro Mrs. Smidley The Knowledge A Euro Brenda Weller, Agony A Euro Jane Lucas, Smile Is People A Euro Stella Craven, Love's Labour's Lost A Euro The Princess of France, On Your Way. Riley a Euro Kitty McShane a Little Princess a Euro Miss Minchin, all at number 20 a Euro Sheila Haddon, the Enid Blitton story a Euro Enid Blitton, Agony again a Euro Jane Lucas, Eskimo Day a Euro Sharni Whittle, Coronation Street a Euro Lillian Spencer, Jonathan Creek, a Euro Louise Bergman, Doctor Who a Euro The Wire, Casualty Hannah Liddell, The Agent a Euro Charlie, The Paul O'Grady Show a Euro Herself. Skins a Euro Aunt Elizabeth, Minder a Euro Anita Richardson, Ladies of Letters a Euro Irene Spencer, Loose Women a Euro Herself, Tinga Tinga Tales a Euro Voice of Hummingbird, Holby City a Euro Bonnie Waters, Netflix Advert a Euro Herself, Midsummer Murders a Euro Mags Dormer, Bull, Beverly Bull. Film, Up the Junction a Euro Sylvie, The Smashing Bird I Used to Know a Euro Sarah, Gumshoe by Stephen Frears a Euro Naomi. Outside Edge a Euro Maggie, Educating Rita a Euro Trish, See How They Run, National Lampoon's European Vacation a Euro Lady in Bed, Water a Euro Margaret Thatcher, Carry On Columbus a Euro Countess Esmeralda, Oklahoma. A Euro Aunt Ella, Solomon and Gina a Euro or EZL, The Pianist a Euro Mother Spaman, The Agent, Run for Your Wife a Euro Exercising Woman, Metamorphosis a Euro Mrs. Samza. References External links, a short bio of Maureen Lipman, Maureen Lipman at the Internet Movie Database, Maureen Lipman's Guardian column, Maureen Lipman in Web TV interview talking about by Jack Rosenthal and working on Doctor Who, The Oldie Magazine.